What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, we have got a good one for you today. Don't mind that fighter jet taking off over my shoulder. We're down in Key West and the Air Force Base is literally right there. I wanted to start the video out here in the driveway because one of my really good friends, Robert Spotswood and his family are building something down here that is so exciting to me, it's not even funny. We're in Key Haven Estates. It's down really close to Key West. This is a brand new neighborhood that Robert and his family have built together. Look at right here. We, You guys, I've been wanting to fish with this dude for a long time. The only person that dresses crazier than me, <laughs> Mr. RJ. He's a mate down here in the Keys with some of the best charter guys there absolutely are. So anyhow, I wanted to start the video right here and show you this awesome house we're staying in. And then I'm gonna walk you down to the boat. So Key Haven Estates is a vacation style neighborhood. You can rent all of these houses and they're huge. Literally like five bedrooms, six bedrooms. All of them are beautiful. Look at this. You can come down here on vacation, fish, bring your fish back and cook them. They've got laundry rooms. I mean, like how does it get nicer than this? The master bedroom's right there. Now look at this view. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Boat's right down there at the end of the dock. Whew, I'm back. I've been in sort of a slump. Not really in the mood to film. I just, I haven't been excited about anything. I can tell you I'm excited about today. RJ brought a bunch of chum and bait. Joey and I filled the boat up. Oh, I haven't even, I haven't even told you. Joe VT's with me. The Mutton King down in Jacksonville, or up in Jacksonville, we're down in the Keys. Joe VT's with me and we're headed out after muttons, yellowtail, cereal mackerel, pretty much anything we can catch down here in the Keys. Blackfin tuna. I wish you knew the excitement in my heart right now. What do you think? I think I'm mad at them and I want to get out there and I want to catch big yellowtails and muttons and whatever else wants to bite. That's what I want to do. How bad would you want to ride in one of them fighter jets that's taken off? I just watched the movie Top Gun, so I'm, I'm real inspired. So yeah. It's the base is I right know. there. It kind of scared me when they took off went right over our heads. You ready? I'm ready. Good day to have a good day. Can we show them? Let's show them a picture real quick of them giant Warsaws you catch. Yeah. I have been wanting to go Warsaw fishing with this guy forever and it just hasn't lined up. This is my contender. I brought it down. We put it in the water last night. We're going to go after what I'm about to show you. It'll be coming up soon. Look at that. That one's uh, 281 pounds with uh, Captain Jack. We've gotten seven last year in 2022. And then uh, the Pulley Ridge and Tortuga trips tend to pick up around late March all the way to the end of like October, depending on weather. And then you get like your big black groupers too. That one was 84 and a half pounds. Ooh, if you guys want to see more of this, right there is his Instagram. Boy, I am ripped, rare, and ready to go. I can't tell you how ready to go I am. Whew. I am super excited. So the first thing's up, we got to run out and get ice. Robert and his family that own this house and this neighborhood, it, literally it's an entire family deal. His family built the house, his family and them purchased the house, his family and them own the fish house that we're gonna go to and get ice and bait and chum. They're like, I think like sixth generation Key West and they'll be here tonight eating dinner with us. No, actually I lied, they'll be here tomorrow night because actually Robert's fishing with us tomorrow. Robert Spotswood, I'm so excited. Today, it's just me, Joey, and RJ. This is why I had to walk all the way back up here my phone. I can't even get my head right because I'm too excited. Wait, how have we made such a mess of a boat already and we haven't even started fishing? I don't know. We're doing a good job. Wait, of it, dude, we're not going bluegill fishing. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we're going yellow gill fishing, boss. I thought you were down here rigging up some real rods. I like am. This is a real one. rod. If you've watched this channel, you know this is a real rod that catches real fish. Very, very, very well. You like pan fish? This is a panfish rod, yeah. This is my favorite <laughs> this setup. That's what I'm talking with. about, my old salty right here. Meat stick. This is a meat stick if you know how to meet it. Can we talk about the bugs on my radar though? Oh, that's nasty. Bugs all over everything. We drove down, I think we left my house yesterday at two. We got down here at seven. It was a super easy drive and now we're leaving the dock. So as we're heading out, we were staying back there in number eight. You can see all these brand new homes and there's still even more to go. Joey, look on the dock. <laughs> we got the gun at the house. Look at that lot lizard right there. You're getting sniped when we get back. 
<laughs> what do you got in your lip? Remember my face. Do you not put that on this video. My mom watches your stuff. I swear. <laughs> 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 Busted! <laughs> Don't do it! <laughs> and this place is so perfectly located. We're actually on the Gulf side, but we're right next to a bridge where we can shoot right out into the Atlantic or the Gulf, whichever way we want to go. Today we're going into the Atlantic because all the bait's on that side. It is definitely windier than we thought it was going to be. Definitely. But it's blowing out of the right direction. It's blowing out of the north. I don't think it'll be too bad where we're going. Got the Seymour maps plugged in and we're ripped, rared, and ready to go. Look at that. We got so much water to fish down here, it's insane. A lot of water. A lot of water. All this. So we just pulled up to the Stock Island Marina, which is not 10 minutes from the house. We're getting 120 pounds of ice. This wind might kick our butt today, but we're hoping for the best. Always when you're going fishing, make sure you got enough ice. Go ahead. save that last or the last one for the chum yes sir perfect hopefully when we get back that's full of fish let's talk about though rj bringing chum y'all wait till you see how much chum we got in this vessel <laughs> there's like 250 pounds in there some glass minnows got to go catch bait still uh-oh Oh yeah. And just like that, we got bait. Next step, we'll see you offshore. Well, what do we have going on here? We finally have a fish. You guys, imagine the person that predicts your day every day lying to you. That's pretty much what we deal with with the weathermen. Every day that joker lies to us, and he never lies to us in a good way, like says it's going to be rough and it's actually calm. No. Every time he tells us it's going to be calm, it's rough. But we're out here doing it. We just got started. I put a bait down just to see what would happen, and we got something going on here. I don't know what it is. I think it's... Don't put it. I think it's... Joey's favorite fish. On my tone. Oh. Hey, yo. It's a muffin. Oh, ooh. Good old nice. Love. First keeper fish of the day. Fat belly on. Look at that. Chonker. He's a keeper, too. He is. So hopefully we can grind out and catch some more of these. It is straight honking out here. And the only reason we're here is because the weatherman said it would be beautiful. But we're going to have to deal with it. This joker swallowed that. You can't even, you can't even see it in there. <laughs> All right, so you know we caught bait, but RJ actually brought ballyhoo as well. I'm gonna show you how we mutton fish with dead ballyhoo. Y'all check this out. We're gonna come in right behind his head, and do what we call a butterfly. It's literally that easy. Nothing fancy. Take a circle hook come in right here and try to get it all streamlined right up to the top of his beak now this bait will sit down there and just flutter I've got a, about a 20 foot leader to a three-way swivel and the weight down below that just keeps the bait from sitting directly on the bottom when you're fishing like this because that bait could spin just try to let it down a little bit slower than normal what you got Smoked it. It didn't. Even, it barely hit the water. And the Sarah smoked it. What is it? Such a cool bite. I believe it's a Sarah. I was trying to get the answer. The, the tuna? Oh, the big old Sarah. Is it? Yeah. Bounce them in. Woo! Right in the sand. So that fish right there is the reason I'm not fishing for muttons with live bait because these things will cut off every hook you put on unless you use wire just like that. Nice. Sushi. Hey, we're catching fish. Yes, we are. <laughs> it wasn't looking very good earlier. For some reason, my boat is leaking fuel into the bilge. Look, he just cut ooh, himself that ooh. quick. Ooh, that's a first. Joey. Bite. Joey. I messed up. Hey. 
Watch your feet, Gabe. <laughs> I don't need a toe. I'm going for you now. This is just it. We're making the best of this it. This is we're how here. our day has gone, if you couldn't tell. Yeah. This is just us making the best of it. RJ's watched our videos before and we follow him on Instagram and I don't think he's ever known how we do it. We're just actually a couple of clowns out here fishing. Clowns, we are clowns, yes. <laughs> now we got sushi and fried mutton. And a cut hand, you! <laughs> ah, come on. Mama, I don't. No, I got it. I had a lot of line out. Hey, we're doing it, folks. Joey's over there catching the cereal mackerel. RJ's mixing up some chum. I'm catching mutons, as, jo as Joey says. Mutons. He's, he's literally the only person I've ever heard that says that. Mutons. No, it's maton. Tone. T-O-N-E. Maton. Maton. I don't know why. I've actually started calling them muddins, like M-U-D-D-I-N-S. Muddins. I was so confused. You put that on your Instagram the other day, and I had no idea what you were talking about. Muddins. Muddin snapper. You notice I can't reel up past that weight. I got a hand line. Look at the mackerel down there. So heavy. We're gonna have to get a shot of that in a minute. <laughs> no! Bro! No! Gabriel! Here, give me. No! 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 How is that even possible? <laughs> That's how it happened. That, that is the good. luckiest mutton on the planet right there. Yes, he is. Whatever, I'm gonna drop another bait and catch another one anyways. It don't even matter. All right, folks at home, we are naturally struggling. We've got wind coming from one direction, current going to another direction. We caught one nice mutton, lost one nice mutton. Joey's caught a bunch of cereal, and now we're dropping on a wreck in 234 feet of water to see what we can pull up. Probably gonna get shark ache though, whatever it is. What you got for bait? A pilchard. Live one. A livey. A wiggler. We haven't tried a uh, live bait on the bottom yet. Yeah, the first spot where we were mutton fishing, the Zero mackerel were so bad you couldn't even you couldn't use the live bait because they cut you off. You could catch them with wire, but then muttons won't eat wire, so there's no win. And it's deep. It is real deep. What's the odds that I hook an amberjack and then a shark eats it? High. I'm gonna go with high. <laughs> You're gonna mess around, hook a wahoo. Such a different fishery down here compared to what we're used to at home. Pretty much everywhere you go on earth is different, so you just gotta adapt. I don't have a ton of numbers this far down south in Key West. If we were a marathon, I would have a ton of numbers. Come on, fish. Don't make me just eat one mutton tonight. It's funny, because Joey and I were all talk yesterday. We were just gonna wreck them. Oh yeah. We're gonna wreck them. The weatherman said five to 10, maybe 15, and it's blowing a sustained 20, 25, probably. We said we we're gonna crush the yellowtails today. Folks at home, guess how many yellowtail we've seen today? Woohoo! That many. Successful yellowtail trip. <laughs> There's been a boat here for hours throwing just hundreds and hundreds of chummies out. They were catching blackfin tuna. We didn't see them catch anything but tuna, but they were definitely catching those. Don't make me look dumb, fish. Some kind of fishy. Oh, that was cold on my butt. <laughs> <laughs> At least we have a really nice house to stay in. You are not lying about that. It doesn't really get better than that. Are we marking anything? Uh, I'm back, you know, I mean, we were a second. I'm right here, the wrecks. That way. This current's weird too. It's not your typical yeah. north to west. Or east to west. folks at home comment what you think the odds are that this gets eaten by a shark no way gabe's got him you you are 
doing it with some speed. Some speed and tenacity. The morale booster we need right now. Get mad at him, Gabe. You Ooh. cannot play when it comes to the sharks. Got big, whatever we were marking right there. Textbook. Textbook. <laughs> Arms are sore. <laughs> wine, wine. Sharks right there. Ooh, nope. Oh, no, bubbles. Mutton! Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, in the boat, in the boat. Oh, I got him, I got him. Good shit, Gabe. Oh, that's yeah. <sighs> Never been so glad to see a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Defied all odds. Come on, circle hook. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth. He's not the biggest I've ever caught, but he'll eat just as good as the rest of them. I believe he will. What a pretty <laughs> fish. He's like real pale and rosy. It's so weird. These fish down in the Keys They're are so always pretty. this color. That's funny. I was always wondering yeah. why the mounts of muttons look like that. And it's, I guess that's why. Oh. All the South Florida fish. Huh. Well, we can try to catch one more. Let's do it again. I mean, we might as well. Why not? Dude, that was textbook. <laughs> Literally, right said, are we marking anything? And there's little marks on the bottom. The game got very tight. Very, very tight very indeed. Tight. Oh, oh. Oh, yes, son. Ooh. Get him, boy. <laughs> yeah, yep, 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 yep. That's a dunk. Damn, That's better fish. Oh, wow. keep on, come on. Is he, darting? On, is he darting at all? No, not anymore. It's fighting like a mutt. Yeah, yeah, y'all. There y'all. Oh, what are we gonna do? Yeah. Just in case. Just in case. If you watch how I fight this fish, you pull up and reel down as fast as you can. You don't want slack. I see color. And. Shark just ate it right there. No way. Oh, wait, no, no, it didn't. No, it what didn't. are you talking about? What are you talking about, you crazy guy? No way, you got it? Yeah, it's a mango thing. Oh, oh. I'm gonna go. That's why the shark didn't eat it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Huge bull shark just followed it right up. Said, oh wait, that's one of them nasty Almaco jacks. And turned away. If that would have been a mutton, lights out. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. You see, we don't lie to you on the Blue Gabe channel. The stuff that we say is 100% true. <laughs> <laughs> that, what are the odds of that? <sighs> Peace. Looking like a mutton. Now that fish was edible. We just don't want to eat him. Joey's got such good sashimi, sashimi. with the cereal mackerels. And I've got two muttons, which is just us three. That's plenty to eat. You guys, it's rough, it's windy. We got lots to show you back at the house. This is my rig. It's just a Talica 16 on a... Chirala. Chirala rod. New generation, Shimano. Yeah. 40 pound mint, uh, Andy Mono to a circle hook. You can't even do anything without getting tangled with this wind. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not fun. It's time <laughs> to start a new day. Yes. We will see y'all back at the house because I want to show you that beautiful cook, uh, kitchen and just how I'm going to cook these beautiful fish. You know what I'm ready for? It's uh, the pool. I need a deep salt myself. Yes, that pool's hot. Yeah. It's got a heated pool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Skinny dipping for everybody. Okay, and <laughs> see you at the house, everybody. Okay. Monster. Come on, fish. He's pumping that. Come on, Gabe. Ooh, boo -boo. Uh oh. Oh, he got him. He got him. He got him. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. He thought about it. I messed it. Checkmate. <laughs> no moss. Roberta Moran. This rod is oh. so strong. Grande <laughs> carne. Yeah. Well, what do you say with that, Gabe? You over it yet? I just paid the tax man <laughs> one more time. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you at the house. <laughs>
right there is one of the most famous things about Key West, the beautiful sunsets. We just came from way, way, way west of Key West, came in around the cruise ships and went to our buddy Robert's house who owns all this stuff with his family. The cool thing about that is we went by the real world. Isn't that what the show was called? The real world? Real world on MTV. I don't know if y'all remember back in like the early 2000s, they had an episode of the real world. No, Joey, keep going. A season of the real world from years back. I'll show you the house. If you recognize that, leave a comment below. Now, I know you guys only saw me catch one or no, two muttons, but look what we did on the way in. Big old giant fat daddy yellowtails. It got so rough out there we couldn't continue filming. Like nasty, windy, rough. So we called it quits. We're gonna go yellowtail fishing tomorrow though. But tonight we're gonna clean a couple of those yellowtail and a couple of those muttons and cook up an amazing meal here at the house. No, it's the next one. This one right here. Home sweet home with a heated pool. Yep. Next one. Next one. Not this one. Next one. <laughs> We're confused. Yeah, it's the one with the Mountain Dew on the dock. We're confused which house is ours. Obviously, you know we've been out since early this morning, all day in the nasty, windy, rough. But we succeeded. We caught 30 yellowtails and two muttons and a bunch of cereal mackerel. Joey, is this the first time you ever docked a boat? Uh, yep. All right. Well, y'all tidily things up, tidy, tidy, y'all, y'all tidy things up, and uh, I'm gonna go get in the pool. I know one thing. All day I've ate a couple guava pastries and a ham sandwich. I am starving. Guava pastries. You didn't eat? Did you eat one? Heck, yeah. I ate like five of them. Me too. Bro, you... I'm trying to lose weight. If I have one of those things, this is winter time in Key West. They're gonna get deleted. I'm telling warm. you. You can't only eat one guava pastry, not even a chance. <laughs> you cannot eat just one guava pastry. So we actually do have a really big problem with the boat. We have fuel coming out of one of my gas tanks. We don't know which one because you can't see them and it's getting into the bilge. I think it's my two saddle tanks, which are 110 on each side, 110 gallons on each side, because this is the first time I filled them up in a while. I'm praying. If not, this will probably be about a $30,000 hiccup for the contender. Proof and why you shouldn't buy used unless you really have to, because I bought the boat for 160,000, immediately put like 10, so 170, next month another. T I guarantee you, if I have to fix these fuel tanks, I'll be at close to $250,000 on a used boat that if I had to sell it, I bet I couldn't get a dollar over 160 for it. Not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're telling everybody, Gabe. We're going, well, you can't sell a boat with gas tanks that are leaking anyways joey he's been a bad in a bad mood all day because he couldn't smoke his cigarettes because he didn't want to ignite the boat folks at home y'all know i don't smoke cigarettes <laughs> <laughs> not now he hadn't done that in a long time long time <laughs> joey had to run and go grab a cooler real quick so we still have fish flipping on the deck we like to keep them alive like that because we didn't have time to make a brine so joey will make a brine right now drop a minute and they will be dead instantly you know what's crazy is I've gotten so used to using my glove that I don't like cleaning them without it. This is not the flay knife I would want to use either. This is a little short bait knife Danko makes. Look at that folks. In about 30 minutes, that will be a mutton snapper sandwich. Y'all check this out. RJ and I just went to Publix. You know how we shop. We just walked down aisles looking for stuff. And I said, I love Hooters wing and I love Hooters sauce. So And, and Hooters. Don't forget. The <laughs> big fan of owls yeah. right here. <laughs> yeah, I am. Hoot owls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So here's the breading. I, I don't know what it tastes like. Hopefully it tastes just like the wings. So I actually took the mutton flays and I cut them in half because they're so big. The yellowtails I didn't have to do it with. We're just gonna fry it. Look at that though. We're making Hooters mutton sandwiches. Mom, don't hate me. It's just, <laughs> it's just breading. Like no reason to overthink it. It's just breading. <laughs> you guys, 
Today has been one of them days. This actually fits the script here. I mean, this, it's just been one of those days. We thought, literally, Joey and I, when we drove down here, we're like, this is going to be the best trip ever. Calm oh, seas. We were running our mouths. Yeah, all over Instagram, working to wreck the fish, which we did wreck the fish. We ended up doing it, yeah. We might not have wrecked them on this video, but we did wreck the fish. But it took everything we knew how to do to do it. So the last thing I got to do is melt down a little bit of this hooter sauce. Look at over here, though. Look at over here, folks. Not right there, Joey. Right here. Look at that. All right, you guys, this is a piece of the yellowtail. I know because it's whole. Man, this is gonna be good. You like onion rings, Joey? I, I do. Look at, look at my body and ask me again if I like onion rings. <laughs> <laughs> so all I had was a little bit of tartar sauce on there and I'm gonna just drizzle a little bit of that. It's medium too, so it's not super spicy. Look at that. I had totally 100% different plans for today. This meal was not going to go down like this. It was going to be something totally different. And it, RJ made me go in Publix by myself. And next thing I know, I come out with a whole different style meal. Are you hungry, Joey? I am. I forgot to eat today. Who else? Comment below if when you're fishing all day you just like forget to eat and drink water we we also were talking today is like we didn't drink a single bottle of water you did drink a little bit that's about it though mm, mm, mm. we're about to go down right here you hungry buddy oh i forgot to yeah mr robert spotswood you guys he's the man with the plan down here so him and i are going to start doing a lot together on youtube as far as promoting all of his vacation rentals down here I didn't dig into it deep in this video, but the next one I will. We're going to go around some of these big rental companies, like I don't even want to name big names, and I'm going to promote it for him, and we're going to get some other YouTubers down here because his place is second to none. Like, look at this place. Joe, I told Joey we were staying in a double wide trailer when we got down here. He's like, just like home. This is not look. <laughs> this is. I'm not even trying to cut it. It's going to get too messy. They're too good. You hungry, buddy? Sure am. Sure am. <laughs> if you watch my big viral hog video, that was all because this was spots with. Here, Joey, I'm just going to film you eat, Joey. Y'all dig in and tell me what you think. Come on. Do you ever wear sunscreen? It's Irish blood in here. Do you ever lose chunks of bait or anything in your beard or in your hair? As he puts That's a fantastic. chunk of food in his beard. <laughs> Have you ever seen such a concoction, Mr. Spotswood? No, but it's a pretty good sandwich. How far back does your family go in Key West? 1830s. That's older than you, Wait, Joey. what? 18? 30s? <laughs> what? OG of OGs. Yep. That's 100 years before air conditioning. How well you, over 100 years. That's a crazy fun fact. Well, it's, well, it's probably more than 100 years. You know how terrible it would be to live in the Keys full time without air conditioning? That'd be crazy. Who was your first family member that came here? So, um, Maloney family and Bartland families were the two, you know, first families of our ancestry that got here to Key West. Do you, I can't remember what year did they get the train all the way down here? Uh, that was the early 1900s. So they were here before then, your family? Yeah, they were, they were shipbuilders. Some of them were shipbuilders. Um, others were, were lawyers and worked with wreckers, but yeah, no. John D. Bartland lived in Green Turtle Cave, took apart his house, put it on a wooden boat that he built by hand, sailed it to Key West and rebuilt that house and it still exists in downtown Key West. We That's need, wild. That's what wild. A crazy That's a hell of a story. story. We need to go see that house. Yeah. The Bartlem house. That's way cool. How, how, well, dang, you're an overachiever. Yeah, you're almost <laughs> done. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty incredible. What were you thinking when I showed up with the Hooters? Did you think it'd be good? And the fried oh, onions? Yeah, you can't go wrong. You know, it's a funny story about Hooters fish sandwiches. My dad uh, said the best thing that Hooters has ever sold is they used to have a grouper sandwich on the menu and he would always go there because they had a really good grouper sandwich. But then, lo and behold, it turned into a fish sandwich. Not I better McDonald's though, right? Oh my gosh, this guy's favorite thing at McDonald's, which is a red flag that you go to McDonald's, <laughs> is filet fish The guy that makes stuff like this, unbelievable chef, 
filet of fish Don't ask people to comment if you agree. It's a they vile, do agree. It's a vile menu item, and you know Fun it. Fun fact about the McDonald's filet of fish That fish is caught on a huge freighter. It's brought on board, cleaned, and flash frozen, so it's probably the freshest you can get. Not fresher than this, though. Now, do you think Crushing it. Is that better than the filet of fish at McDonald's? I'm surprised Hooters hasn't reached out to franchise this with you yet. <laughs> Dude, see? The, they may know. There's That's my businessman right there's, there. There's a need for a good fish sandwich at Hooters. Well, yeah, buddy's the businessman. Can yeah. you hook me up? Or you, or you can come down here and stay with us. Yeah. 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 You can make one yourself. That's yeah. right. All right, you guys. Today was just a... We left here going, we're fixing to, and then it just went downhill from there. The cool thing is, is we got to come back to this amazing place. Hold on though, let me, I know I showed you the pool earlier. Let me show you the pool now. That thing lights up in a whole bunch of different colors and is at like 98 degrees right now. I am 100% getting in it in just a minute. That's it for this, about trip. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the link in the description below for all these rentals. We will be back and I hope to see y'all. Maybe we'll do a big meet and greet down here during the summer lobster season or even before that. I know you said something about May, right? The beginning of May is a good time. Yeah, grouper season. Oh, opening grouper season. Y'all, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Check out Joe VT Fishing. You want to end it? Um, it's time, wait. To get the heck out of I shape. know that, but there's some before, right? So so Anyways, <laughs> you know what? Luke, no. You look like I just put you on the spot right now. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, it's time to get the heck out of shape. <laughs>